from Charlotte. Man. What's going on? How's this compared to all the other All-Star games? Oh, we started. We started. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, get, let me get comfortable. Let me get comfortable. Um, I think the comparison thing will never stop. Um, and I think it's great for the game. People are always going to make comparisons. What player remind you of him? Uh, you know, what this guy does similar to that guy. So, um, I, I never, I've never tooted my uh, nose up or, or, or had anything to say with the comparisons to me and Zion and Zion to me. I think it's great. I think it's great for the game. Um, you know, with his his athleticism, what we all see, his ability to, to, to jump up uh, well beyond the 10-foot rim is incredible. I think what's also incredible is at his size, his speed, his agility, his quickness. Um, and then to add on to that, I think he's just a great kid. Every time, you know, the media has asked him questions, he's always, always been right on and very humble about it. Um, he's humble about the fact that he gets to play the game that he loves every, every single day. And uh, I love everything about him from the outside looking in. I've never met the kid. But I love everything about him, and he keeps the main thing the main thing, and that's the game of basketball and being uh, a part of something that's special, which I think that Duke program right now is special, not only with him, but with RJ, uh, with Trey, and also, um, <laughs> excuse me, and also with. Um, with Cam Reddish, so I think they're they're great, and they get to be around the greatest coach of all time, and Coach K. So I mean, that's it's an unbelievable thing that um, um, you know for Zion and for the rest of those guys to be able to be in a position where I can have my own school. Um, it's not about me; it's about the kids that's in there. You know, it's never been about me. I'm just a. I'm just a platform, and I am the the, the, the voice and uh, the guy that can be able to put it together, but it's so much deeper than me. Um, it's not only the kids that's at my school, but it's also the faculty members, it's also the teachers, it's also the people, the security guards, it's everybody that's inside there, the, the chefs, the head chefs, uh, the custodians, everybody that has anything to do with making sure the IPS school runs on a day-to-day -day basis and runs smoothly for my kids to be able to succeed. So um, it's an honor, and um, and I take it very seriously. I check up on my kids weekly. Uh, the see how they're doing um, and it's been great so far and we want to continue that I think uh, I've always loved Kyrie uh, from before I met him to when I became his teammate uh, to even now um, I've always thought he was special um, I think he has a uh, I mean, there's, there's a reason why there's really only 24 of us here this weekend, um, and, and and he's here for a reason. So um, the phone call, uh, more than for me, I think, just to, just to see his growth. You know, it, 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 takes a, it takes a real man um, and a real person and a real person to understand who they are to be able to, to call or to do anything and be able to see their wrongdoings or believe they have some wrongdoings and then be able to, to come to grips with that and be able to either to apologize or say that at that point in time I thought I was ready for something but I really wasn't um, and I'm not here to I really don't want to talk about it too much because it's, it's not it's not for everybody um, it's not for the media to be able to start writing things and you know how you guys like to do it not saying you particular or you Dave I, I know you guys but I don't know everybody here I love Kyrie. I love everything about Kyrie. I've loved his family. Um, and I definitely love his shoes and his game. And my kids love his shoes and his game, too. So um, it's all good. I think everything in life um, you have to appreciate, no matter if it's good or bad. Um, so, you know, like you said, it's been one year since, um, you know, it, it was the call out of Shut Up and Dribble. And, um, you know, at, at that very moment, I knew that uh, I knew at that moment that I was bigger than just basketball and I had to say something. And uh, because it wasn't just about me, it was about all of us, you know, they'd be telling you guys to shut up and just write, you know, you guys not having a, a platform and, and, or just just shut up and be a doctor or just shut up and be a lawyer or just shut up and be a teacher or just shut up and do whatever your, uh, you know, your occupation is. And I just think that's unfair to all of us because we are so much more than what our occupation say or what our name tag says. So uh, for me to be able to have this platform as I did one year ago and to me be able to have that feeling um, throughout my body when I heard that um, I think it, it has not, not only resonated with me but it's resonated with a lot of people to be able to feel like they can be more and um, so then like I said I, I thanked her for that moment and we all should thank her um, but like I said um, you have to appreciate anything that comes along no matter if it's good or bad because it, it helps you learn it helps you become better to who you are it helps you uh, get more understanding of who you are or uh, more understanding 
about what the situation is at that point in time. So I'm, I'm always been thankful for not only the good, but the bad that's come across my life uh, since I've been, I've been along this journey. You know, I, I'm here. I've seen him already in the locker room. Uh, I've seen my nephew, uh, you know, uh, Zaire. Uh, Every little bit of moment, every bit of time that I get with him this weekend is going to be always cherished, and, and, and it's great. I mean, we've been together almost 17 years now since we met at the, uh, you know, the Combine, you know, in Chicago in 2003. And, uh, you know, from that moment, we just knew that we were going to be together for a long time, and, and it hasn't stopped. For me being a competitor, uh, for me being his teammate, to being a competitor again, from us sharing, uh, you know, father advice, to sharing marriage advice, uh, to sharing and son advice, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really bigger than just basketball when it comes to, to me and D-Way because um, we can actually look at each other and know what each other's thinking and know how each other are feeling at, some, at points and times of our lives. So um, to be here, uh, for me to be able to choose him to be a part of Team LeBron, for him to be here this weekend, um, it, it, it's, it's a bittersweet moment, obviously. Uh, the bitter part of it, that this is his last weekend, being an all-star weekend, um, and knowing that his journey is coming to an end as far as a basketball player. But the sweet moment is that we got so much so much more life to live together, you know, and uh, and we will continue that. How does it feel playing in L.A.? It feels great playing in L.A., man. Um, when you when you when you look up in the, in, the, in, the, in the banners and you look at all the championships and you look at all the the, the greats that's come uh, you know through L.A. you know from you know Jerry West to George Mike and Elgin Baylor to Magic and Kareem, James Worthy and, and, and Kobe, Shaq, you know all whoever whoever you whoever you name and, and just to be a part of. of just to be a part of that franchise, to be a part of that history, it, it means a lot to me, man. So hopefully I can do my part where someday I can I can hang up there with the rest of those guys. I think it's important to stick up for what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think what, 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 what Cap, I stand with Cap. Um, I kneel with Cap. I, I mean, I just feel... I feel what he was talking about. Nobody wanted to listen to. Nobody ever really wanted to actually understand where he was coming from, you know. And um, you know, I think that anybody that could, that will sacrifice their livelihood for the better of all of us, you know, I can respect that. And he's done that. I mean, you got a guy who basically lost his job because he wanted to stand for something that was more than just him. And um, so I'm, I'm happy to see the news come out yesterday that he won his uh, that he won his suit. Um, um, I hope it's a I hope it's a hell of a lot of money that can set not only him up but set his family up, uh, set his grandkids up for the rest of their lives, and um, and I hope that um, you know the word of what he did will, will live on throughout American history, but also world history because it's important for all of us, not only African Americans, but for everybody that want to stand up for something that's more important than them. Um, I, I believe that if I wanted to, I could own a team I, or be a part of a basketball team. I know that I got so much knowledge in the game that I don't want to. Once I stop playing, that I just want to get away from the game you know obviously I know I'm gonna be along with my sons because they're gonna play the game they're playing the game now so I'm gonna be along with them um, but if I can give uh, back to this league in any way shape or form to continue to make this league as great as it is today then um, I would love to so um, we have to see have to be the right fit we have to be the right city have to be the right situation uh, you know it's just it's not like it's a dream of mine it, it's more of an aspiration see if it happens if it don't I wouldn't be disappointed in you know anything I've done off the floor so uh, we, we'll see what happens I got a long I got a lot more game to play I'm debating if I'm gonna wear it in the game tomorrow um, I have something else that I really can't talk about as well but um, obviously to watch the throne is a, is a huge piece of hip-hop history obviously it's when Jay and Kanye got together made an album one of the best albums um, in hip-hop that we've ever seen um, and for me to be able to have a, a shoe to, to cap uh, you know calibrate and collaborate with that moment is huge um, you know at that time I got an opportunity to see Jay and Kanye actually wear the watch the throne kicks at that moment on the on stage when they're performing um, at their concert and uh, for me to bring that all the way back to fruition be here this weekend with the watch the throne 16s um, it's pretty cool for not only me uh, but it's cool for all sneaker heads it's cool for anybody that loves sneakers and inspirations and stories behind sneakers so um, I'm just happy to be a part of the sneaker world and be a part of the you know being having my own signature shoe but I got something on my feet too that I'm gonna wear in practice um, I got the safari uh, you know 
know, LeBron 16 lows, and everybody kind of know the Safari from the Air Maxes. Uh, so you'll see me wear those today as well. So I got a lot of inspirations, got a lot of stories, a lot of storytelling that we will continue to put on my, on my, on my sneakers. I don't know who will be able to be an NBA player or whoever be a professional athlete, but more, I think, but every kid has a, has a every kid has a dream. And every kid has that, and, and what that is, they have to tap into that. So for me to be a part of Akron and, and, and know that I'm giving my kids an opportunity to be able to tap into whatever that is, uh, it means so much to me. So me having my school and me having them 240 kids to be able to see them every single day and figure out a way how we can tap into what that is to make them become successful in life. And I'm not even talking from a money standpoint. I'm just talking from where they feel like they've done something that means something in their lives and they be able to give back to uh, you know, that's what it's all about. So uh, before I walk up the stage, shout out Akron, Ohio, 330 is where I'm from. It's where I stand. No matter where in the world that I go, I will always live for my hometown because without my hometown, I wouldn't be who I am today. So um, shout out my kids at the I Promise School. I got a lot of my 330 ambassadors here this weekend doing a lot of groundwork in North Carolina and in Charlotte, uh, you know, giving people what we do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis back in Akron. So, um, and uh, I love you all. I love the media. You guys are my friends.